happy republic day so let us uh, know the history prior to our republic day and independence day see in uh, hero there was some a classical system of the jurisprudence implemented by religious heads compelling the sovereignty king or whoever he may be to submit the uh, eternal faith and thereafter some uh, renaissance took place martin luther king martin luther started protestant religion that resulted in independent sovereignties resisting the uh, dominant uh, advice uh, and uh, uh, interference in the sovereign sovereign function then constantinople noble 1215 was conquered by the turks so the european sail uh, after industrial revolutions could not uh, sell their products by land or way therefore they have started spain danish portuguese started uh, to find out a way to reach asian countries particularly india because the europeans uh, want uh, uh, some products which is exclusively available at to punjab haryana kashmir and finally they have reached koikod prior to that uh, the europeans reached the uh, africans and on seeing them they have took them for slave labor that that is the uh, that uh, again uh, one they wanted to implement in india also but uh, since india was ruled by several mighty kings uh, it could not be possible but however later on english people reached uh english people uh, british people, english people are comprised of multi national population uh, several uh, uh, tribes which uh, ruled parts of england british britain or uh, uh, nomads uh, tribes of german who were called as barbarian by the christians and then uh, they uh, after reaching kolkata they are able to win battle uh, 1765 and 1675 battle of plassey and battle of baksar and they have uh, acquired certain barganas to their control there after uh, that was uh, by east india company so they want to pass some orders to collect revenue therefore british uh, england has given another letter of uh, uh, letter of patent permitting them to pass control orders then there after Uh, 1857 uh, mutiny that resulted the end of the east india company ruling and uh, it was brought under direct control of british government so that from then then onwards india was ruled by british parliament that is called imperial parliament and uh, the administrative head of india was viceroy of king so there after uh, so many things had happened and uh, resistance slowly initially resistance was uh, by the uh, against the ruling was by the 
rich Europeans and uh, Europeans who settled in India. Therefore, uh, Alan Akhtam whom and uh, Bhakrim Chandra Banerjee, Bhakrim Chandra Chatterjee, started Indian National Congress only for business purpose. Later that became a political party and uh, then so the so many acts were passed by Imperial Parliament at England to rule this country, 1909, Montague, Sems, Semsport, uh, 1919, Minte Marley, then uh, Kut India, uh, Kut India, thereafter, uh, uh, finally, uh, the First World War, Second World War, uh, resulted the British to build uh, the Indian uh, Congress leaders. Therefore, 1935 Act was enacted. Thereafter, 1947 Indian Independence Act was enacted and the Constituent Assembly was formed. That Constituent Assembly, uh, we the people of India, adopted the Constitution on 26th November 1949. Then, what had happened that the uh, Constitution Certain provisions were implemented immediately and the entire other provisions were brought into force only on 26th January 1950. So, uh, 19, the Constitution of India Act is called 1949, but that was brought into force in 1950 and thereafter Constitution was and stitched and so many things are there. This is the way we celebrate a republic. India is a republic, democratic country. Sovereign, socialist, secular, democratic republic of India. This social was added by Indira Gandhi because she, she had tie with Russia because whenever India, Pakistan, war starts, the American used to threat us, therefore Russia stood on with us. Uh, therefore Indira Gandhi used uh, social, because United so so Soviet Socialist Republic, uh, USSR. So what is Republic, what is democracy? Democracy means sovereignty may be Sultan, King, whoever may be but uh, uh, advisory ruling being elected by the people. That is called democracy. Republic means even head, sovereignty is elected by That is therefore America is uh, republic as well as democracy. India is also republic as well as democracy. Sometimes Pakistan is ruled by democratic and republic, sometimes by dictators. And so many Sultanate are there. See, actually what happened uh, when uh, uh, Mohammedan uh, uh, ruled Indians, uh, uh, Akbar, Babar, Aurangzeb, they had uh, several Sultans to control the provinces like governors. So it, it was very easy, now, like that when there was Chakravarti, Mar, Mar, Maratha Chakravarti, there will be a Peshwas ruling the provinces. Therefore British people used to tie with the Sultans and uh, Peshwas and started to uh, instigate them to revolt against the, their main leader and slowly conquered the entire as much as possible. But at the time of independence of India, yeah, we have more than uh, 500 plus uh, independence uh, uh, sovereignties allied with the British people. Some independent totally, so many things are there. So I hope you understand uh, the Republic uh, Day importance. We are ruling, but unfortunately, our people are not ruling, they are ruining us. And uh, every politicians became dictators, 
as soon as they are elected and uh, huge wealth are amassed by these politicians even after uh, uh, confiscating data property still these leaders are having heavy money that is uh, highly uh, a magic to be understand and enjoy these things are that whatever it will let, let us be proud about it. this republic day best wishes it is up to the people who vote uh, to save this country best wishes